In this video, I'm going to show you a wide side passing concept out of the Trips Tied In offense that is going to be able to beat every single coverage in this game. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. My name is Cody, and our channel is focusing on helping people become better at Madden. Every day, I try to get better at Madden, and I try to share the things that I learn alongside of my subscribers. So if you want to get all the new content that we release every single day here on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, guys, I have a ton of ebooks available over at my Patreon membership. The cool part about being a Patreon member is that it's only $10 a month and it unlocks all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks, complete ebooks with updates, personnel, write ups, and everything. So if you want to get access to all of that stuff, again, that's over at the Patreon for just $10 a month. And the cool part is those guides pretty much update uh, very routinely. We update the Patreon membership every single week with new little tweaks, new little concepts. Um, and kind of keep you guys abreast uh, of everything that is going on in the Madden community. So it's a great way to be able to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies. And it's also a great way to, again, take your game to the next level if you're looking to get serious and become a better Madden player. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head on down to the description. You can click that link that I put down there. But in this video, like I said, we're going to be talking about PA Counter Go. Now, the beauty of this setup it does not require Hot Rod Master. It's a great wide side setup. So what we want to do is have our trips... Uh, our three receivers to the wide side of the field for this concept. It's going to do a great job uh, whenever they start to try to over adjust and they try to stop some of our base setups out of the PA counter go. So let's jump into the video. Okay guys, so what I wanted to do is first kind of go over a primary setup or something that is our base setup out of PA counter go, which is basically this right here. And what we're going to show you today is kind of a counter to this setup. And what you're going to start to see here is that if they have a really good user, they can kind of um, at least slow this down and make it a little bit more difficult. So what we want to do today, like I said, is show you a setup that is kind of an inverse or something that you can use off of the original PA counter go. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to curl our outside slot receiver. We're going to place our outside far wide receiver on a smart routed out route. And we're going to streak our tight end. What you're going to see with this concept is the left side of the screen is going to be a great little read and specifically for situations where um, this smart routed out route is really going to pull a lot of the zones out of the way and it's going to allow us to hit this curl. So again here, you're going to see that that yellow is going to continue to drift and we're going to be able to hit that curl against pretty much every coverage of the game. I'm going to show you this against cover three and, and this is why it's really important that you smart route this uh, out route because if you don't smart route the out route what's going to happen here is the zones are going to be able to cover it but as you can see because of the smart route the zones are continuing to get pulled vertically and it allows us to hit this so it's also a really really good concept if your opponent is running a lot of mabel coverage i'm going to show you why right about now what you're going to see here is that the double flat uh, of the double mabel coverage is not going to be able to cover this uh this curl as you can see right here this pass like that low ball let me show you that one more time. I got randomly jammed. And again, if they're playing zone drops, you know, it's a little bit different. Uh, but again, let me go ahead and set up this coverage. And what you should see here is that the curl flat will go out. And then you see that I can pass that inside to Scotty Miller. Again, that guy won't do that in, in if they're actually zone drop. So let me try to show it to you the best I can with uh, with this guy. So what we're going to do here is we can't imitate a 30-yard cloud, unfortunately, because of the way the game works. We're just going to put this guy on a spy because he's not going to be out there. He's going to be he's going to be uh, in a purple. He's going to be in a three wreck. This guy right here is going to kind of be in no man's land with a 30-yard cloud. So to try to illustrate this as best I can, uh, we're just going to kind of put him in a, in a, a blitz assignment. What you should see here is because we smart route the out route, it should pull the curl. See how it pulls that curl flat out of the way? And now that route is wide open for you. So it's able to beat pretty much any of the major ways that people are going to defend this in zone coverage. And then let's say, for example, that they're kind of over adjusting, if you will, um, to try to defend this slot. Maybe they're running this guy into man coverage and then they're, you know, basically kind of having, for example, out of a cover three, for example, they're taking this guy and they're putting him in man-to-man -man coverage, and then they're having their purple, and their purple, and then of course their, you know, their cloud, their 30-yard cloud to be able to defend the, the crosser. What you're gonna see in a situation like that is that this curl is really, really effective. And what you can see here 
is again I can lowball that and I can cut that off against man to man or I can cut that off against zone now a little hidden gem little hidden gem within the video here is a alternate setup you can do if you are anticipating that they might run a little bit more man-to-man -man coverage it's the exact same setup except instead of a curl we're going to do a smart routed dig route what you're going to see with the smart routed dig route is a lot better than you might think as you can see right there consistently beats man-to-man -man coverage from that position it's going to be able to consistently do that for you regardless of what they do this is also a really good setup for match coverage you're going to see here that again i've got the crosser of course against match but the other thing that i'm going to be able to do here is again look at that curl just absolutely cooking that coverage and um you're going to see let me show you that one more time i didn't show the uh the right adjustment on that outside receiver so let me put him on that smart right of curl remember cancel that play action as soon as you snap the ball what you're going to see there you see that quarter five actually did do a little bit better of a job um, from the match coverage within that setup but again most people in their match coverage they're not going to run they're not going to run quarter flats at least if they're smart because um, we can easily manipulate that they're going to run some you know cloud flats or curl flats and you see how open that route can uh do and, and what it can do for you against that so we've gone over man coverage cover three cover four drop now we're gonna go over cover two to me cover two is going to do the best job um, because it does have this vertical hook in the middle of the field of course you have your crosser and what you'll see pass like that up and that beats that cover two coverage. The other thing that I wanna quickly point out about cover two is let's say for example, that they are running a cover two maple, okay? So this guy is in a curl flat, this guy is in a 30 yard cloud. And to imitate that, we're gonna put him in an outside third. Try to imitate as best we can that he's in a deeper zone. He's not gonna sit on anything because his assignment tells him that he has to go deep. What you'll notice with this deep out route is you can pass lead that with an outside pass lead against his zone like that. So if they're in a situation where that guy's dropping and bailing every single time, even a cover four drop would be a great example of this. This out route is very underrated. Again, I'm gonna take this slot corner and I'm gonna put him in a vertical hook. And then just, just for fun, I'm gonna put this guy in a purple, but I'm gonna put him kind of where he would be if he was in 335 wide to try to imitate again that, that 30 yard uh, drop or 30 yard depth. And what you'll see is this out route is really, really underrated as you can see right there. Just kind of works that sideline. And so if they're not disciplined in their coverage, um, this is something that you can hit consistently. You'll see here the quarter flat will get out there, but then again, as you can see, that yellow zone gets pulled vertically because of the 10-yard out route. I can't, under, I, can't, um, I can't undersell how important that 10-yard out route is. And if you can really master when to throw that and how to throw that, you're gonna find yourself having a lot of success with this offense because that is one of the key routes that keeps the defense from being able to overcommit to stopping the first setup from the PA counter go. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. I also wanna quickly remind you before we take off that if you wanna get my full trips tied in ebook, you wanna get everything that I've got for you in Madden 22, join our Patreon. It unlocks all of the ebooks for just $10 a month. You get access to every ebook, every update, any new ebooks and any new updates that we release while your membership is active. And there obviously is gonna be some updates because we update it every single week with new material. So if you wanna sign up for that, head on down to the description below and click that link. Also want to quickly point out to you that I stream on Twitch. If you guys want to see me play live, I've started streaming on uh, Twitch this week. Twitch.tv slash Cody Ballard 0531. I'm going to put a link to that in the description as well. If you want to go drop me a follow, I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for your support. And we'll see you guys later with another video on how to get better at Madden 22.